This is part 71 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss updating a cookie, deleting a cookie, and cookie limitations. First, let's look at an example of updating a cookie. To update a cookie, set a cookie with the same name again. Let's look at this in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. At the moment, on this page, we've got two buttons, set cookie, get cookie. When we click set cookie button, we're calling set cookie JavaScript function. Similarly, when we click get cookie button, we're calling get cookie JavaScript function. Within the set cookie JavaScript function, this piece of code is going to create a cookie with the name equals color, value equals green. And this code is going to create a persistent cookie that's going to be stored on the client computer for the next one hour because we have set the max age attribute to 3600 seconds. And within the get cookie function, we are checking the length of the cookie. If the length of the cookie is not equal to zero, then we know that a cookie exists. And in that case, we are retrieving the name and value that's present within the cookie and displaying them to the user using JavaScript alert. If the length of the cookie is equal to zero, then we know that no cookies exist. In that case, it's going to fall to this else block. And here we are displaying a message to the user stating no cookies found. So at the moment, we don't have any cookies. So when we click this get cookie button, it's going to display a message saying no cookies found. Now let's click this set cookie button. And when we click this button, this piece of code will be executed. So it's going to create a cookie with name equals color and value equals green. So let's click this set cookie button. Now let's click get cookie. Look at that, we get name equals color, value equals green. Now what we want to do is update this cookie. So we want to change the color value to red from green. So we want to update that cookie. Now to update a cookie, we use the same name, but a different value. So let's change the value to red, save the changes. Let's reload this page. Now when we click get cookie, we should still get the old value, which is green. Now, when we click this set cookie button, it's going to execute this piece of code, which means it's going to update this color cookie from green to red. So let's click that button. Now let's click get cookie. Look at that, the color value is now updated to red. So to update a cookie, all you need to do is set a cookie with the same name, but with your new value. Now let's look at an example of deleting a cookie. To delete a cookie, set a cookie with max age attribute set to a negative value. So at the moment, if you look at this example, we have set max age attribute to 3600 seconds. That means we are telling to create a cookie that's going to be stored on the client computer for the next one hour. But if you set this max age attribute to minus one, then you're telling to basically delete that cookie right away. So now, Let's reload this page, and when we click Get Cookie, we should still have that cookie around, the color cookie. Now when we click the Set Cookie button, this piece of code will be executed, which is setting max age attribute to a negative value, and this is going to tell the browser to delete that cookie immediately. So when we click Set Cookie, now when we click Get Cookie, look at that, it says no cookies found. So if you are using a browser that supports max age attribute, then set that attribute to a negative value if you want to delete the cookie. But there are browsers which doesn't support max age attribute. For example, uh, Internet Explorer doesn't support max age, it supports expires attribute. So if you're using a browser like that, then set expires attribute to a date in the past. So in this example, we've set expires attribute to first of January 1900, that is a date in the past. So this piece of code is going to execute, I mean, it's going to delete that color cookie right away. Also keep in mind, end users can use the browser interface to delete the cookies anytime they want. So at the moment, we don't have any cookies. Let's go ahead and create this color cookie. Let's actually change the max age attribute to 3600 seconds reload the page, set cookie, and now at the moment we have uh, you know, the color cookie created. Now, one way to delete the cookies is programmatically using JavaScript. The other way is the end users can delete the cookie by using the browser interface. So at the moment I'm using Google Chrome. 
So when I click on this menu button, and then once we go to history, there we have this button clear browsing data. When we click this button, on this page notice that this cookies checkbox is selected. And when we scroll down and click this clear browsing data, we are basically telling it to delete all the cookies as well. So when we click this button, it's going to delete the cookies. Now when we click get cookie, that color cookie is deleted. So keep in mind, users can use their browser to delete cookies anytime they want. Now let's look at cookie limitations. You might often hear these questions. What is the maximum allowed cookie size per cookie? How many cookies are allowed per domain? The answer to these questions really depend on the browser you're using. And this website right here can be used to perform some series of tests and find out what the limits are. So I have the URL right here. I'll have this link available on my blog in case you need it. Now let's navigate to that URL in Google Chrome. And once we navigate to that page, look at that, there's a button, run test for current browser. Let's click that. So now it's performing some series of tests. Now let's fire up Internet Explorer. And let's navigate to the same page in Internet Explorer as well. And let's click this button, run, run test for current browser. So IE is also performing the test. Uh, Google Chrome has just finished those tests. Now, if you look at Google Chrome, look at that. Max cookie count per domain is 180. And maximum cookie size per cookie is 4096 bytes. So Google Chrome allows 180 cookies per domain. And the maximum cookie size is 4096 bytes. And if you look at Internet Explorer, maximum cookies per domain is only 50 and the maximum cookie size per cookie is 5117 characters. And if you want to know what those limits are for Firefox, navigate to the same website in Firefox and perform those tests and you will come to know what those limits are for Firefox. Thank you for listening and have a great day.